The iconic character of Anne of Green Gables was first introduced in the original novel in 1908, and many people remember the popular miniseries based on the book. That popular character is back in Anne with an E. What if suddenly there were no boys in the world? None at all. Fiddlesticks. It doesn't make sense that girls aren't allowed to do farm work when girls can do anything a boy can do and more. Do you consider yourself to be delicate and incapable? Because I certainly don't. That's right. We're joined by producer Moira Wally Beckett along with Anne herself, Amy Beth McNulty. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. So how is this series different from other versions of this story? Um, well, we're doing our own thing, <laughs> charting new territory, taking Anne on some new adventures. Mm -hmm. Amy Beth, tell us what your experience in this role was like. It's really amazing to be able to play such an iconic character who has an opinion about things and is herself and very real and authentic, um, which you don't find a lot in these days. So, yeah. That's very true. What do you think makes Anne such a timeless character? I think the relatability. Um, she doesn't always belong, she's excluded, she's, she's damaged, um, and she's very, very real, as I said. Um, and I think the subjects in Anne's story, uh, they've been relatable for years now, and I think that's something you don't find often. And Moira, was it a different experience for you working on a series with a child actor as the lead character? <laughs> it was, but it wasn't, because no matter how much dialogue I threw at Amy Beth, and there were miles and miles and pages and pages of it, she was always prepared, always invested, um, and word perfect. And there are plenty of experienced actors who I can't say the same about. <laughs> like, she has an incredible work ethic. So, uh, it was, yeah, it was, she made it easy. For people who have never read the book or maybe never saw the miniseries, what would you tell them? Why should they watch? Ooh, why should they watch? <laughs> um, well, it's, it's beautiful. It's emotional. It's uh, relatable. Um, it's discussing um, some current cool conversations that um, are part of, the, you know, what people are talking about currently in the world. Mm -hmm. and you just get to watch her yeah. mature and grow up through the series, which is a great, interesting. Uh, yeah, coming of age story shot in a really cinematic way. Really interesting. I know I can't wait to watch. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you. And you can stream all eight episodes of Anne with an E beginning Friday on Netflix.